Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Off The Rails. Today we're here at the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. We're here for their Steam Gala. This is probably one of the biggest events of the year in terms of steam down here in the south coast. So they've got a couple of visiting engines in Count Louis and obviously Riveresque as well, which is going to be really nice to see run. I've never seen them before. And of course, obviously the return of Dr. Sin, which I never got to see in person. So we're going to see Dr. Sin running up and down the line. This is actually going to be a really good day. Um, for once, are you actually kind of looking forward to it? Yeah, because I've got my camera and there's nice landscape. She's got a new camera, so she's looking forward to it. Other than that, enjoy the video. Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, we're sitting in our carriage, guys. Um, quite compact, as you can see, but it is a tiny little line. Um, are you excited for your train ride? I'm over the moon. No smoking, as always, please. Um, in here. But yeah, it's unusual, and we are ready to go, I believe. Um, do not lean out the doors and windows, even though we all know I'm going to do that. Is guys, we've left five, and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to New Bromley, and we're probably going to get off there and obviously take a look around the Model Railway Museum. And then, of course, we can count Louis' is station there. We've got to make sure that is a bust of today. And then, of course, once we've done there, then we'll obviously jump from New Bromley and we'll go all the way down to Dungeness. We might even take in a couple of the other stops as well along the line. I haven't decided yet, but we've got all day. The event runs all day until seven o'clock this evening. A lot of steam action.
So yeah guys, as you can see behind me, we've actually stopped off at New Romney and we're actually at the Captain Howie Hotel and Pub. Now this is actually named after the founder of the railway. He was actually an eccentric millionaire and essentially was originally into motor cars and motorsports in general, but then actually decided, well, his wife decided, as all women do, that you know the safer hobby would be railways. So he actually founded and bought the Romney Hyde Church Railway. He actually was the creator of the line. Um, and then following his death in 1960s, the pub was named after him. So it's just a little fun trivia while we have a drink. Every time I have a drink, I 